Uh, uh, hello? Uh, VC face. There we go. <laughs> okay, that took a bit. Ahoy, oh, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Prius and my magnificent Drakir at your service. First and, mate. Oops, yeah. And welcome back to all the Mod 7, a Minecraft mod pack. Well, we've edited some mods to it. And it has been, yeah, at least two months or so since we last played this. And I haven't actually done that much since then. I've mostly just been, yeah, doing other things, testing out games for later streams, like uh, the Battle for Middle Earth, because uh, even on easy, that game ain't that easy. <laughs> so, yeah, also a uh, bit of a secondary co-host is that Oscar is asleep in the box that Ink has been sleeping in a lot, so I guess it is now his property. Uh, oh, dear. First off, let me turn off all of those marks. And yeah, what has changed since last time? Not all too much. The first thing to notice is that I put down some of these elevators so that we don't need to use the uh, <clears throat> the stairs or the ladders anymore. Uh, I did make the ender pearls for these with the Philosopher's Stone, which is a pretty simple recipe. So just here, iron, and yeah. Four iron for one ender, yeah, for one ender pearl. And since we have iron production going on, that was pretty easy. Also, I've made a little enchanting station. I think this is, let's see, one, two, three, four, seven, eleven. I think oh, 15 come is on. the maximum. Hmm? I just saw on Discord pop ups and one of my friends had discovered Samurai Pizza Cats. And he's okay. in love with the pizza homicide. <laughs> okay, uh, put us in DMs together. <laughs> I want to meet this one. And uh, yeah, uh, next up <laughs> is we have a big ass hole here now, which I've been digging, which I dug out with that excavator, which took, it was annoying enough to set up. So I'm keeping it as is for yeah a prototype for future excavators. Basically, that piston over there just moves it side to side, and I put in some extra <clears throat> shafts with that. It can go along its own the length of the shaft. I need to stop it, bring it down, bring it back up. It it was a big pain in the neck. And I also started on a, one of our new machines. That one over there actually automates uh, andesite, for, andesite alloy production. And yeah, obviously this is the controller for that thing. Uh, let's see. Beyond that, you can see on the minimap, there is a lot of stuff over here. So, yeah. We've got a pair of Brigmies doing work here. We've got some of these relays. Uh, see, Yeah, source relays feeding into this source jar because they will only deposit. Uh, or they can only deposit after using up some source to actually create the material. And this is our single chicken here. I have... I have been looking for freaking chickens everywhere, but I've just not been finding them. Okay, I'll take that, and I'll take that. I've also been working on enchanting stuff a bit. I'll put the single one back in. And, yeah, it makes for a pretty good food source to have all of this here being not killed by the Drigmies. Which is what they do. They take the animal products that you would normally get for killing them, and, well... They make them for you without killing them. Yeah. This is kind of nice. It okay. also makes you wonder how they do it. Uh, skinning them very, very slowly. Yeah, uh, is it, like, is it they skin them, then heal them? Also, this over here, uh, this is just a, sim a setup of... Up that. Uh, give, give me that back. There we go, need to exchange it. Uh, yeah, these hoppers just feed things automatically onto this. And yeah, I I set this up for making the Drigmeat charms. So all of these are currently feeding them <coughs> with the materials needed. Three source gems. Uh, then we need seeds of any kind. Wheat, apple, carrot, and a fish. Um, yeah, the, here are the seeds. Then that must be the carrot, yes. And... Any fish should do. Then you just put a Drigmy 
a crystal in here and you get a drink me charm. You put that on top of a box of mossy cobblestone and it turns into this little uh, drink me hench, we can hold, which can hold up to 10 drink me's at a time, I believe. And yeah, the more drink me's there are, the more variety of animal there is, the happier they will be and the better they will work. Are we seriously need uh, to find another chicken? I guess if I ever, if I ever visit Stonehenge, I should be look around for drink me's. <laughs> Okay, uh, what else? I did a small bit of immersive engineering over here. Mostly to make this thing, which is at the moment... Uh, yeah, it's a bit awkwardly set up like this, but it is growing infernium seeds. Uh, let's see where it should be at the very least. Yes, it's getting put in here. With that, we can make... Well, the stronger essences, and from that, eventually, we should be able to make some very, very powerful tools. Oh yeah, also that, I found... I don't think I've had this last time, but I found a cloud in a bottle, which is something that's brought over from Terraria, or modded over from Terraria. Basically, double jump. <laughs> Could be very useful for saving myself from a drop. Anyways, most of my equipment I put over here, including some of this armor that I made, uh, because I have a plan for today, and that is to take on the Ender Dragon. So, uh, some back. Also, I found figured out what these are things are for. Uh, let me grab this my bow, and that can oh. be left here. Keep bring that the spell book. Uh, I you're, you're gonna hurt, try to attack the Ender Dragon with an umbrella? <laughs> no, that is for in case I fall off of something. Oh, all right. Uh, we are going to need that. We are going to need that. Yeah. Good bunch of foods. And you were to say something? I accidentally interrupted you again. <laughs> uh, now I've forgotten. <laughs> okay. Uh, I started up a bit of a mob grinder down here. But it hasn't seemed to work yet. I think it's that Megators that we put upstairs. I put it away for a bit, and this place just filled up with mobs, so we could use that as a mob grinder of sorts. Uh, but yeah, it's not supposed to stop spawners from working, so there's just something a bit off with that. But I'm going to hold back a little bit with this. At the moment, there's just a, that's just a zombie spawner in there. Uh, because <clears throat> I don't want things escaping from this, so I want any of these, uh, any of the spawners that we use to have their AI turned off through a modification, in-game modification, that is, because, let's see, spawner, uh, let's see, yeah, spawner, if we add things to these things, we can, well, have it <coughs> ignore light, so spawners will spawn at any level. I don't think that will counteract the Megatorch, so I might just have to light this place up properly for once. We can have it spawn more th uh, creatures, Spawn more maximum creatures at once. Just <laughs> remove all the sound from them. And this one, no AI. Spawn entities will have no AI, which will make them easy kills. And no danger at all. But for that, we need chorus fruit. <clears throat> Pardon. But for that, we are going to need... Uh, yeah, to get to the end. So, yeah. First ah. off... That's... And there's a bigger reason to uh, uh, to slay the Ender Dragon, or many, really. Yeah. Um, I don't think these were here before. These are for uh, the Corail Tombstone stuff. Yeah. Uh, wait. Oh, yeah. You, you did show me off screen, off stream, some of these things. Yeah, it's that uh, knowledge of death stuff. I don't, I don't fully have a grasp of it still. And yeah, small Ender uh, farm. And, uh, yeah, let's actually go take a look at the bottom of the pit that uh, we dug before we do much else. The oh other big thing that I done, uh, besides all of this, and, yeah, let's, this should have been active all this time, so this should have a good supply of <clears throat> andesite alloy for us. Or not. Uh... Let's see, is something wrong here? It has lava. Oh. I see, that is the 
that is the problem. It's not pumping it into the uh, basin. That I overlooked that. Okay. Um, let's quickly fix that. So the machine is actually doing something other than just spawning blocks that are going to like up the place. Uh, yeah, that's probably a here. good idea. And also, I noticed something uh, about your teleporters here. And that is? It's just a white square on the floor. Yep. White elevator from the elevator mod. Yeah, can I... Should we put other blocks around it? On the floor, so it kind of... Looks a bit nicer, if you know what I mean? Uh, we could do that, though we can also color these if we'd want to. We, we could do both. It's... You could put blocks around it that matches the color you choose it to be. Uh, I don't know if this was here last time. Probably not. It's just an ender chest that is linked to this ender bag. So anything I throw into the bag gets put automatically into this thing. Beyond that, I've uh, been blocking up a lot of stuff because this thing has actually gotten full at one point. Though it is half open about now. Right, you told me this off stream. It showed me, but you did you didn't tell me that those pipes were for that. <laughs> what the hell is up with that little guy? He's very, very happy. I called it. I bloody called it. Uh. A few weeks ago, Hillen showed me a video called The Toy Box. A song by, uh, what was it, what's the guy's name again? Stupendium. Stupendium. And I should not have told him, start making proper walls around for fear of these ones we probably start seeing their own parody of it. And lo and behold, they are yeah, crawling they... out of the gem box. <laughs> out of the gem box, yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I'm, I'm making a clip of this. This is just, <laughs> it's just either stupid or adorable. Or both. <laughs> Mix of both, perhaps? Okay, uh, now that we have the wrench, it should be in here somewhere. There it is. Okay, let's go fix that machine. Yeah, Create is Create can be very useful, but it can also be a massive headache to get it working sometimes. And we aren't on the most current version of it. So there, there we go. There, that should be filling this up. Yep, there we go. Four of these is maybe a bit overkill, but better to have too much lava than too little for this. Uh, but yeah, the fact that we are using an old version also means that uh, we have access to something for, uh, that will be very useful. Uh, for now, though, we have other areas to go down here. Uh, oh, that's an arcane crystal. I actually want that. Uh, that's a different pickaxe that I made, just for rock, uh, for mining rock. Uh, I should probably put that one away. It's a silk touch pickaxe. This is the path that leads down to that amethyst that we completely mined out. And we have one more stop right at the bottom with this. So yeah, that's just going to make getting around a whole lot easier. Oh dear. And we probably should use that for uh, other layers of the tower as well. Someone in chat? Uh, let's see. Hey, big trucker, playing with AE. I think that is, a, I think that is in here. So let's see. Applied. Uh, yeah, applied energistics two. I believe that it has that storage system, but I've never been good at figuring that out. I think I've gotten it to work once, uh, but even then, it constantly ran out of power because I couldn't get enough energy to it. And yep. yeah, mm -hmm. last but not least, we have, well, I think that here says enough. Give it a second. Yep. I managed to find a fortress and we have a, a completely empty portal here. <laughs> so that is going to need some ender eyes. And yeah, yep. oh, that's dear. still here. Okay. That's the... Wait, what, what the... What was that? 
That was a little golem that has been in some other packs that I've played. I don't know, I don't remember their name, but they are just the little guys that uh, will spawn holding stuff and you can grab that from them. Yeah. And hello oh, there in the chat, chat, Ghost Howl. Oh, hello, Ghost Howl. <laughs> nice to see you come and visit. Okay, that's that friend you uh, were talking about, the pizza cat uh, one, maybe? Uh, no, no, that's not the pizza cat one. <laughs> The old okay. cats do, but not pizza cats, thankfully. Okay. Uh, if we are going to need to make some uh, <clears throat> some eyes of Ender to put into that pro uh, to put into that portal to get it to work. <laughs> uh, but for that, we're going to need blaze rods, and for that, we're going to have to go back to the Nether then. So, yep, yeah, Nether fortress. Okay. Uh, let's see. I have been playing Minecraft on another mod pack lately, on a server with some friends. Oh, hello. Oh, that's one of those ones. There's supposed to be music playing around that one, but apparently not at the moment. And... Yeah, that, that mod pack, which they have... Uh, <clears throat> they have modified themselves as well, which isn't as big as this mod, which has its very good reasons as well, because some of their computers aren't as powerful. And that has been the medieval mod pack, and they've added things onto that, like I said. And I wouldn't be against starting a new world with that mod as that pack as its base. Like it, ha it is missing some things, like there is no you know, Tinker's uh, ports for that at the moment. Uh, let's see. A2, uh, I'm going to be opposed to it for... Again, if this started to... Get messy it says it's a very old version. It's not Ruby. very old, but it is old at the moment, yeah. Yeah, so I So yeah the Yeah the medieval one could be fun. It also has a lot of mods that aren't in this one. And they make they make for some interesting gameplay. And uh, now let me finish that whilst I'm not being annoyed by slimes. Uh, that's the one that requires data cable size to the device count, isn't it? I like the earlier version without the extra com uh, complexity. Uh, I can't specifically say to that. I know that I have, I have tried some, I have played some mods that had energy cables. Um, I believe that wasn't back in TechIt, I believe. Uh, let me get a bit of distance. Let's see. Uh, notes, not shirts. Cable, yeah. Uh, smart cable, covered cable, glass cable. Okay. Dense smart cable. Okay, I'm I'm going to have to read the the. <laughs> I'm going to have to read the guidebook about those to see what is actually the difference. But for the moment, uh, let's go look for some more blazes. There should be near here. Oh, hello. And be gone, undead horror. Get some experience as well to enchant our blade. Because apparently we, we can still enchant this sword here. Actually, that was one of the features available in the uh, forge of it. Or the workbench for it. I forget the name of it. So oh, right, that's a Okay, we are going to need. Let's see. We get. I was to ask why you were running around with a cucumber. <laughs> this is that sword that we made. Okay. <laughs> I had forgotten about it. Okay, uh. I should not forget to show what those spirit orbs are actually for, and it has to do... <coughs> Pardon? It has to do with those uh, goddess statues we can find in villages now. And, uh, yeah, after restarting with uh, Breath of the Wild recently, I got an oh yeah, like that moment. Because we can exchange four of those spirit orbs for extra health containers or extra stamina. Though I... Hmm. I think that might just be for the hovering with the for hovering with the uh, paragliders. Oh, is that a head? Yep. 
<laughs> That's the first one, apparently. Okay, we'll need two more Ooh, if we're going to find skeletons. a uh, I will not try to see the rest of the song. I will not try to do that. Let's see. Hmm. I could probably... Actually, what we can also probably just do to get the blaze uh, rods is to just put down that blaze spawner that we got from here. Uh, though they will be hostile. Let's see, where did I leave it? Here, okay. Um, uh -oh. let's, let's just put away some stuff. I had found another race. Uh, I found another waystone randomly out in the wild. So keeping that around as well. Uh, give me a second. Let's see what it's called. I also made a ton of these submarine sandwiches for healing. Let's see. Earlier version, you only had to make sure the pieces were connected directly or with cable. A2, I believe, you have to worry about how many devices attached per cable. Uh, oh, thank you, Ghost Tower, for the follow. <laughs> oh, you. Yep, that, again, that double thing. I do not get why that is happening. I, I should really go look at that sometime. But then again, I should look at many things, and I keep forgetting... Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. It's an extra complexity that doesn't make sense to me. Okay. It could be meant to emulate power draw or something. Uh, let's see. Okay. There's no need or to put those through a grinder or something because you won't get anything extra. Uh, let's see. I should grab... Actually, this is, yeah, that is just all of my gear. And then one of these should be empty. Yeah, we can use this as an extra inventory for the moment. Uh, let's see. The iron door away. Um, will you want some uh, protection? Yeah, we have this armor still for the moment. This is specifically made for the Ender Dragon at the moment. Uh, yeah, well, let's not forget that. But do you have anything practical to beat them up with? I think so. Combining all of the normal stuff that we have at the moment, uh, along with uh, the modded stuff like the sword we have here and the spell book, I think we should be pretty good for taking on the Ender Dragon, but I do not want to take many risks with that. So yeah, I'm going it, to be triple sure that I can kick its ass. Oh, it's not the Ender Dragon I'm worried about at the moment. Hmm? It, um... It's the flamey things you carry around. <laughs> uh, the blazes. We can deal with that. Uh, yeah. Right, blazes. I almost call them flamers. There we go. For four of each, we can extra add an extra heart container. <laughs> yeah, we are now on our fourth row of hearts. <laughs> Holy. Oh, that's a drown nearby. Okay, uh, let me just go grab... I, I think I think we're more than plenty sure to kick this thing's ass. Especially once... We, actually, I'm going to grab them all. See how many we can actually have at a time. We will lose all of these if we die. But it'll just be funny to see how many we have. And Well, we can otherwise treat it a bit like a hardcore game. Like, I do not want to die under any circumstance. Because I will just lose all of that health. <laughs> instead of all of the world. Wait, to me, this, this health is not permanent. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure uh, if it does remain after death. I'm I'm going with the presumption that it doesn't, because with the health we get from, from eating different foods, that doesn't stay uh, upon death. So, yeah, I'm, I'm working with a presumption out of caution. Also, I should probably try to pick one of these up and just plant it up in the tower. For now, Don't. let's see. Oh, increasing your power any further made is okay. And that is the stamina wheel, so might as well spend a few on that. There you go. Nope. <laughs> Hero of Hyrule. Obtain oh, max amount dear. of heart containers and stamina vessels. All right. Uh, let's see. I did AE when I did my fling with uh, Minecraft. Love being able to store everything in auto process on or in order. Or on order. Uh, combined with Tesseracts and Quarries, it was a really powerful tool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it was that mod pack that I was... <clears throat> that 
that I uh, used a bunch as well. I don't know exactly what was or wasn't in TechIt, and back then I didn't really know what the difference was between different mods. Uh, for now, let's see if we can actually pick this up. No, 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 no! Oh! Yeah, Never mind! Touch. Yeah, I, I'm oh. pretty sure that whatever goddess this is supposed to be would be really offended by us destroying their statues. Uh, uh, I was more thinking, like, it, when we started this server, you tried that, and I think you broke one. Probably. And that's why I said, no, 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 no. Says I did not want you to repeat history. Uh, Feed the Beast was the version I used. Okay, I, I think I tried that as well at one point. Again, it's been, it's been like probably 10 years or so. Uh, for now, let's put this thing over here. Maybe another time we can make a little cupboard for it or something. Uh, let's see. I also have an Enderman and a Spider in these Quantum Catchers. I made a second one for the Mob Grinder. But uh, let's actually get to making that right now. Um, should probably grab some stone. But we do slate. have a basement area to make a little... Uh... Uh, what would you call it? Uh, arena? Yeah, that is what I already have here. And it does have an active spawner in it, but as you can see, there's nothing spawning. So uh, I, th Killian, I think the... Hmm? That's not an area. That's a meat grinder. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. You want me to just put it down and go to war with the blazes or something? Or make a little corner for them and to fight them in? Uh, yeah, that, that, just a, a little walled off corner would probably be easiest the best currently until you can make something more secure or automated in this case. Yeah, let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we'll see how high we can get with this. Uh, but yeah, once we've got a good amount, once we have enough Ender Eyes, we can go after the dragon. Which, again, I am re being probably very overly cautious with. But I still want to be absolutely sure that I, that I can beat it and I, that I won't lose all of my gear to it. Not that I yeah, that wouldn't would... lose it exactly, it's because of the gravestone mods, but still, it would be an absolute pain in the ass to go back and try and salvage it. Especially when there's an angry dragon fly about, and a legion of endermen. I have heard of one trick to make the ender dragon a lot easier to beat, though, and that is by actually blowing it up with beds, because if you put down a bed in the nether or the end, it actually just explodes, and it will actually damage the ender dragon and such as well. Yeah, it's a thing. I've seen it. I bloody was expecting you to bring that damn trick up. I kind of grown to hate it. Here we go. Probably should have brought that... Uh... <laughs> now you... You do work even though you are close to that mega torch. Is there something wrong with that? Did I leave a torch in the in there or something? Uh, let me block this off for a moment. Go get a door and maybe some glass to put in there as well. Yeah, wait. You did Why is this one not remove working? one torch and for some see. reason. Hmm. Is it? Is the light shining through the... Why is this place lit up? Oh, okay, so it was the light coming through the, the windows, I'm guessing. Okay. Well, there's the mob grinder actually working now, then. Mostly. I still need to put in a few more of these. These fans, well, they blow entities away into the grinder, which, well, obviously grinds them up. Uh, there is one thing that I forgot here, though. I was right to you for the call it a meat grinder. Uh, let's see. 
let's see. There should be something here that collects. No, that's an XP tab. Absorption hopper. This is what we need. This would... Uh, that would collect all of the stuff down here. That's... Or it would grab the stuff from up there and, yeah, pipe it away into things that we would connect it to. Uh, for now... Door... Let's go with iron. <laughs> Putting a wooden door on a cage filled with fiery things would not be a good idea. Uh, lever... And let's see, we've got one of these already. So place powder there. And we might as well... Let's see, where was it? Yeah, absorption hopper. Vacuums up in items in a 7x7x7. Seven by seven by seven. Can be configured to push out any side. Fluids will insert the tanks and items. Like, it, that, <coughs> that is speaking of liquid... <coughs> uh, liquid experience. So, let's see. We need some obsidian for that. And a hopper. Easily made. And then we just need to make a tank for the experience to go into. Or... Uh, let's see. Experience tap. Yep, sure. <laughs> We're out of obsidian with that, it seems. Um, let's see. Which of these experience drains in the tank... Wait, just just glass and ingots for this? Okay. Simple enough. Um, Alright. Let's go put all of this into place. I, I should grab a chest as well to actually put any materials gathered up. A double will do. Let's turn that off. And... See, I can still reach that. Yes. Then we put the tank down next to it. Let's see. Um, it is east. There we go. And now we've got experience collecting up here. Then west we can do items. Um, I, a lot of mods nowadays let you open up chests from you know, <clears throat> when there is something above them, or at least another chest above them. So it, it always annoys me a little bit when that can't be done. There, there. Turn that off and just... There. Okay. I could put the blaze in here, the blaze spawner in here as well, but uh, yeah, they could just fly out, and the the grinder is still incomplete. Yeah, we could turn this into a blaze grinder. That sounds weird to say, blaze grinder. You know what I mean? Yeah, I could actually probably just put this uh, what we did last time. That was to uh, put them into a <clears throat> put them into uh, a forge to get their molten bloods as a fuel source. Yeah. Nope. I just Are you sure it's a good idea to have an iron door? It's better than a wooden one. Well, yeah, That's... wooden one burns. Ooh, hello. Iron Ooh. gets hot. Sharpness 3. And Bane of Villages 4. Okay, so if we ever get into a raid... Plus 35... Uh, plus 30 percent attack damage. Okay, yeah. And I think we could also upgrade this thing. Let me actually take a quick check. Uh, oh, good God, it's your sword! <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, sockets. Diamond plus. Does, let's see. No... I thought something about this thing could be upgraded, but I forget what. Oh, home? Tempered 2. Okay. Uh, let's see. Further temper the blade to improve the armor penetration effect. All right. Uh, let's go grab our... Wait, where is our hammer from this? Uh, it's not that. Uh, 
we had an obsidian hammer for this. I'm pretty oh I saw it. I saw it. I probably should keep I probably should make a lot more of these backpacks and just fill them with stuff yeah, related to one mod or another, instead of just having all of it together. Basically a tool bag and such. Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's see. Double up. Improve an imp uh, apply an improvement to a sword module and then hone that improvement to further increase its effect. Okay. Is there anything else we can do here? Let's see. Reinforce fuller. We've already put one of those on. Let's see. Can we enchant the iron hill? Have we wrapped this thing? Let's see. Uh, wrap the hilt using the provided materials. Slightly increase damage and speed. Reduce the negative effects potentially caused by the hilt. Okay. Hmm. I thought we'd already done something like that. So let's see. I think leather and string will work for that. Have you done more than one sword? Let's see. Okay, if we put that in... Uh, we need a knife for that. This knife should do. Let's see. What would that do? It's not actually showing anything. Is that already implied or something? Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. That might... Oh, there's already a leather wrap around it. Okay. So those, we can check what has actually been applied with it. We have a leather wrap that has been settled and has add sharpness two been added. On the Free. diamond blades, we have tempered point two and bane of illagers and arrested. This module is crafted materials that not that will not settle over time. Okay, so hmm. Not sure exactly what that means, but I will. Uh, let's see. Anything else we can do around this? Serrate the blades. It could cause bleeding. Let's see. Provides a soft tooth edge blade. Has a 30% chance to cause the target to bleed for 4 damage over 2 seconds. Not effective against undead. Yeah, tweak. Tweaking unavailable. Okay. What is... Hmm. Magic capacity... There's a lot of about this mod pack as mod as well, not this mod, but this mod as well that I do not really get. Uh, let's see. Why don't okay, there are still upgrades that can be applied to this? Uh, I think this will do for now. Hmm. I think I also had a spell book or an enchanted book. With another sword enchantment ready. Let's see. Uh, these are a bunch of soul bounds. Um, have you, have you looked at your sword? Yeah, it looks very pink. Uh, I, I don't, I don't <laughs> like it. First, you accidentally turn your sledgehammer into a princess, a magic princess hammer, by accident, and now. This it, it doesn't look like a sword at the moment. <laughs> what more something from Saint Row? What? I'm not going to elaborate further on that because it's just funny to have you guessing. Say oh no. Let's see. We still need star buckles. But I have, I have, I guess. <laughs> I will not be surprised. Yeah, let's see. I don't know, not just... Uh, yeah, I don't... I would sure if it'd be wise for me to even say that word on Twitch. Okay, did not expect that sound from that. Okay, let's try something else. What? Uh, There we go, that's a bit more chipper. But yeah, the, the backpack now has an enchantment 
for a music box as well. Another enchantment enhancement. There we go. Uh, yeah, I think we can still keep going with this world for a while longer. But yeah, if we are, if slash when or probably when we are going to swap over to a new world or new mod pack as well, we'll base we'll use the uh, mod pack I used with the friends server as a basis. Maybe add more onto it. Maybe not so much. Does the medieval mod have uh, the colony thing? It is in there as well. We should probably get oh. started on that maybe as well at some point. Yeah, we, we did mention we were to finish the tower before doing so, but... I but you got a mood thing on what the tower done, except the tower itself. You're not more work on the basement. Yeah. Oops, sounds like Oscar is waking up. Can you see Oscar? Think of the. Oh. Okay, clarification. In Sweden, in the, uh, um, for two people who know Rescue Patrol, in in English, a certain cheese loving. Uh, he's a mouse or rat? A uh, mouse. Montgomery Jack, you're talking about the uh, Rescue Rangers? Yeah. However, in Sweden, he's called Oscar. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, every time you call, uh, talk about Oscar, I occasionally think of, uh, yeah, Montgomery. <laughs> okay, we need seven more Ender Eyes, so... Fill stone. Some iron. Uh, there, and we'll have to break up a block for next. Okay. You, there. Give me some. Uh, but yeah, when we would move to a new world again, I don't really know. I don't want to rush ending this one or anything. Uh, but yeah, we, we'll have to see when. Um, I think we can give up on doing the colony stuff in this world and probably just pick that up again in the new mod pack. And yeah, learn what we can here. And see if we can get it to work in the new mod pack. Come yeah. on. Like, th there's a lot of good things here, but it can also be very... Overwhelming. Yeah. And we have also seen... The disaster that can happen with how it's too many mods. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I don't... I don't know... It. If you can set up a temp, uh, per, uh, there is probably a way to get a temporary server, like a, not the one that you typically pay for online or something, but something you can set up with your computer itself to act as a host, maybe. Uh, it could be fun to have some people who we might be interested in joining in every now and then to make their own stuff or help build things or adventure. Yeah, people usually use an older PC for that. Let's see. Uh, yeah, for now, we're going to have to grind a bit here. Uh, let's see. If I understand the statistic at the upper left correct, I believe the 200 and 800 means that's the... Uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, oh. The minimum about amount of time between uh, spawns is 200 ticks. Of the, of the game's count. And I think that means like 20 seconds or so. So the it, it should maximum be like 8 seconds or something between. But I, I could be completely reading this wrong. It could be that a tick is... Uh, it is shorter than a second at the very least. So maybe it's like 20 seconds minimum, 80 seconds max. Let's see. I did not know that. <laughs> Last I heard you could run a Minecraft server on a Raspberry Pi. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, have, have people did been run? running tests with that or something? Like, the people have gotten uh, to get... People have gotten 
uh, doomed to run on like a freaking pregnancy text uh, test. Bleh. Oh god, you heard that too. Yeah. They even got a better work on a microwave. <laughs> Some of them I don't believe. Since. I don't think a microwave had that kind of processing thing going on to play Doom. As long as it has some sort of you know, computer in it, it should work to do something. And yes, I'm going to cover up that hole before yeah. I fall down, which is as good as a guaranteed. And also, Raspberry. I think that that has reached Sweden, but we don't call it Raspberry here. I'm going to take a corner out. He basically, he, okay, this is depends if it is same company. It might not be, it could just be coincidence, but we have a... Some new group just called Hallon. This is the Swedish for Raspberry. <laughs> okay. So I do wonder, did they come over... Is it, is it just another company just happened to have a name in common with the same uh, berry? Or is it the same company they just took a Swedish version uh, to call themselves over here? No clue, really. Okay. Uh, wrong way. Let's go put these into place. And then we go prep up our stuff. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Wait. We need a sacrifice. There. <laughs> That should light the place up a bit. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. I, 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 I want to suggest one of the truckers tires, but I guess that works too. Okay. Going to dump everything in there for the moment. Uh, actually, those, those we can take back. Those can go into the storage. Yep, there. Okay. Now, bringing along our sword, of course. Uh, torches won't really be needed. I'm going to bring the <clears throat> the gear that I have on me here as well. Uh, because for better combat. Because, yeah, attack speed, damage dealt, and the fact that we can just see anything at all times. Then in here, uh, we've got a potion of healing. Got the everlasting ham, but I'll leave that be. I could probably just dump ham. That... <laughs> yeah, I could probably <laughs> just put that in the back that allows us to eat from it for per just permanent food. Uh, leaving these two here as well as those. Uh, I was going to do some. <clears throat> I was going to do some alchemy. Probably should do that still, but don't know how long I'd want to keep people busy here. Uh, let's see. We've already been to, uh, to an hour now. Okay. The uh, gear, the foods, uh, bow, and of course arrows, the spell book, and these for climbing up the pillars to destroy the uh, <coughs> the uh, heal things, or the, the, the things that heal the ender dragon. Uh, yeah, I forgot what they were called bucket in case of fall. Actually, for that, I can just use the umbrella. Uh, let's see. Where is the umbrella, actually? Let's see. Raspberry PI was started in UK. It was the first successful SBC small enough to fit in all El in an Altoys tin meant for the DIY hacker community and to teach third world country students how to use computers. Okay. Okay. Okay, that the, the the only raspberry I know is a cell phone thing. <laughs> okay, this uh, this had a apparently very bad reputation of trying to rip customers off. Uh, there's the umbrella. Okay, so we have now we have our weapons, we have our self safe, we have a single <laughs> we have a single potion of healing, a lot of meats. A lot of ladders, probably more than needed. Or actually, probably less than needed. 
So let's see. Uh, I'll just grab a, a stack, a fuse. Yes. Wait, some... Thirty dollar price point. Okay. There we go. That should be enough to climb up anything. I'm going to put these back. Now, what am I missing? Anything? Uh, let's see. We'll want a way stone to actually be able to get back easily enough. Did I put that in here? No, so I left it in one of the bags. Not that one. Um, is it in that one? Don't see it. There it is. Okay. With this, we can easily travel back and forth. Let's see. That's where the base model had a $35 price point. Okay. Uh, Raspberry Pi was developed by a former cell phone developer and intended to use older cell phone processors. Because those would be a lot more cheaper. Um, yeah, I think many of the more modern ones use a very rare metal that is very limited supply. Hence, they started encouraging heavily that people recycle cell phones. So they can reuse that. I forgot what, what the name of the metal was. But it's a, one of the cases where people said that the uh, many cell phone companies have entered one of the stages of uh, technological uh, dead end. Let's see. Poison, water breeding, poison, regeneration. I'll take that. Poison, harming, mana regeneration. That might be useful for us. Okay. We have enough to climb the place. Yeah, that's compressed stone. It can go back. We have a waste stone to plonk down. It's cheap, low power, and readily available. Yeah. Yeah, that that's probably way better, since that will not be a dead end technology. Okay. Uh, put this one here. We select our spell, which is let's go for the big blast. You there? Okay. I think we are about ready to take on the dragon, then. With... Yeah. that. Yep. <laughs> and this will actually be the very first time that I've taken on the dragon. So, yeah, that is why I'm being triple damn sure. Wait, wait, wait. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna say something here on uh, Discord. The, oh. Okay, for a moment I thought, did the game just dump me in nothing? Okay, uh, I should have brought a pickaxe. Actually, yes, I definitely should have brought a pickaxe. So that put that thing there, and and go get a bloody pickaxe. Uh, there's always there something go. that I end up forgetting, huh? Yeah, and I post. You can check Discord if you want. I posted yeah. it in the uh, general chat. Okay, give me a moment. Uh, some sticks. Okay, uh, let's see. General chat. Really? Okay. What do you think it looks like? <laughs> uh, the dragon is already out. No. This place is going to be filled to the brim with Endermen. So we're going to have to avoid looking at those too much. Because if we don't look at them, they are not going to be a problem for us. Some silver ore. Oh, netherite level. Oh, that's azure le silver. Okay. Can't say I've heard of that before. Okay. There's the pillars. Let me grab this here so we have a bit more underneath it than just a platform of obsidian. Okay. Plunk you down quick. We'll probably move that later. For now, uh, let's see. We need to destroy those things. That one is unshielded. Oh, higher. Because those will heal the dragon too high. 
There we go. Oop. Try not to look at them. And there's the dragon. Actually, I should have brought bottles to fill with and with dragon breath, but okay. That's the second one gone. That is why we need to climb, because some of them are caged in like that. Taking one for your own thing. But yeah, as you can see, the dragon gets healed. It's another one gone. There's quite a lot of these here. I don't know if it's always this many. What was I that? I think that, uh, that, that was the... Uh, the uh, it... Uh, Breathing fire. Yeah. Gee. Oop. Mm. Oop. And I actually got it there. All right. Uh, there's one up there still. There's one up there. I think she just hit herself. Okay, got going to hit that one for the moment. Let's just climb up here, break this one out, eat a bit. Yeah, these up. Uh, yeah, that is the dif <clears throat> the difficulty of uh, having a spell book in your offhand. You automatically use it even if you're done with something else. If you're trying something else. Uh, there. Yeah, and actually, I can really something up. on the uh, in chat, but the. Uh, <laughs> It'll be hard to read that at the moment. Let me get on top of this. There we go. Another one gone. To that way. Okay. We're not... Okay, that was a lot faster of a fall than I thought it would be. Uh, let's huh. see. Hey, I this thought you go full Mary Poppins. <laughs> okay. Maybe not enough ladders after all. <laughs> Ow. Actually, put that in an RF hand for the moment. Should still work. Eat another sandwich. It's close. Okay, she has a lot of knockback. Okay, she's coming around for another attack, I think. Yep. Oh, yep. Yeah. The others used to use a bucket of water. So you do have an umbrella, so... No. Uh, there's one. That one. Wait, did, did we manage to hit that one after all? Okay. Uh, I think we're overshooting. Actually, no. Those are going way short. Okay. We can still get to this one here. Yep, or not. Okay. Another sandwich. Yeah, at least that one is not as tall as the others. I think she's perched at the middle. In the flapping of wings. go last one and i think of an easy i think i know an easy way to get there there with uh, this little spell that we made for going to the second floor uh oh uh, oh oh yep. right that <laughs> it throws us okay well, we don't try to teleport up there for some reason okay I 
have to change this spell. There we go. Now it starts the server back up. Wait, should we try to shoot it with an arcane blast or something? Not when it's moving around this much. You almost looked at an enderman. Don't need the distraction at the moment. Nope. Oh, she's coming to perch. Oh. <laughs> it hit the Enderman. Okay, we're not doing that much damage to it, actually, but it's not healing at the very least. <laughs> it's just chasing after it. down you probably would have gone quicker if we had a strength potion <laughs> didn't expect that one to hit actually Ooh, mine. almost what is with you? Come down here. Why is it... Okay. And it's coming to perch. Ooh. Arcane Blast? Uh, well, it's... It's down here. Oh, never mind. Oh. Okay, not this. <laughs> uh, yeah, not as uh, dangerous as I thought I, it was going to be, and almost out of arrows already. Nope. Perch, perch. Did it not hit her or not damage? Awkward if that damn thing is immune to magic spells. Yep. Lost arrow. Probably should have looked to, into getting an infinity enchantment for that. Yeah. And yeah, either those didn't hit or it's immune to not hit it like that. Oh, picked off another Enderman. Uh, let's see, is there any other? Do you have any other damaging effect spell here? Uh, that's break. Wait, why is... I know that... Harm? Ignite. That might work. Let's see. Uh, not harm. Ignite. Problem with this spell? Oh, it, you can't amplify Ignite. Uh, we'll have to leave it as that. And that's something I just remembered. Hitting her in the head actually damages more. 
Mm. Okay, it's just <laughs> it's just ticking off the locals. Uh, mm. Yeah, I, I I hope you know how to get the end dragon egg. Uh, yeah, we need to put something underneath it. Ooh, uh, I a look torch. at one. Uh, we don't actually have a torch with us. But, uh, we have one torch. Okay. Uh, ignite. Projectile. Okay. I think that didn't complete the spell or make it, but well. Nope. Okay, we got a few hits in. Uh, let's see. Ignite. Projectile. Or projectile. Ignite. Create. Okay, either those one either none of those hit or yeah, the dragon is just immune. Ooh. Come on. Just one more hit. And I'm yeah. I'm pretty sure we would have died by now if it wasn't for all the extra hearts. Yeah. Oh, come on. Let us you this newt. Not you! Can't lose Harold. You too, Bill. No idea who that is. Frank. He was frankly an <laughs> asshole. There we go. Okay, more troublesome, but also a lot uh, more, e a lot easier than uh, it normally be. Wait, where did the egg, the egg land? There, along Wait. with whatever that stuff is. Wait, how do we get that? Uh, has the word? What is that? Oh, it. Dragon Sea. Another over there. Yep. Okay. Let's not go in there yet. Yeah. Dig under it. Then uh, under its block, you put a torch. So where it lands, it lands on the torch. There. There we go. I do find that a really weird trick to do to get a egg. Yeah. Like, like was that intentional oh. or what? And something I didn't know actually before is that after you kill the dragon, this here appears. So uh, let's go get that. <clears throat> let's go get uh, the waystone again. Eat another sandwich. And yeah, what we have to do with that is to pass through it, and that should bring us to uh, the other areas of the end, because very obviously we can't very much go anywhere from here, unless we just build out miles and miles of stone. But this should shortcut us to the quote-unquote mainland of uh, the nether. Uh, we just have to squeeze into it. So let me just grab that. I think most people just threw an ender pearl into it. Yeah, but I don't want to risk throwing that thing at uh what was that? What? I I don't want to risk throwing an ender pearl into the abyss, simply put. Yeah, I understand. So for that we're going to just go up a bit, down another whole meal sandwich. A little bit off. Okay, that is why I brought these. So...
Oh, what? That was supposed to work. Or oh, God damn it! Throw it into the the box. Any more? I mean, you you say you threw through it instead of into it. Yeah, I thought you could just throw it through it, but apparently, you need to throw it in. Or something? Uh, as well. Mm -hmm. Remote gateway? Escape the island. Okay, where the other fuck did we end up? Bulbous shell? Are you playing... Uh, something is not liking the audio. Yeah, this is the modded end. And yeah. people had, uh, yeah, you can see the creativity. Okay, bulbous gardens. All right. Uh, yeah, let's try and get our way down without falling into nothingness. The fuck is some sort of manta ray? What is this? Purple shroom light. We're taking that. You love purple. Yep. And um, maybe not love, but still like. Yeah, if it gives light, it could be useful to look for the magic tower. Yeah. And I suspect if we were to make a new server, we still would try to go for a uh, uh, tower. Levitation. Wait, are is one of these plants causing? Okay. These purple plants cause you to float. <laughs> nice to know before we float off into nothingness without the umbrella. <laughs> Actually, that we could use that. Yeah, that could be useful. Let's see. Like, it, in a way, it could basically, basically it replaces elevators and stairs in some of the methods. If I'm yeah, in the, if I'm in the magical to. parts of the tower. Yeah, we do have now an elevator, but definitely, like, if this port is in medieval Minecraft, then definitely think... alternative. Yeah, I think oh, the biome shall go, as you can see that this is part of in the upper left. I think that is in the mod pack as well. Right, yeah, then definitely could be useful for medieval uh, Minecraft. <laughs> Even the enemies are floating, or you could say they are getting high. Uh, oh come on! Okay, let's see. Looks like most of this area is like this, except for—is that a slime island over there? Slimy leaves. Yes, that is the small end island. Okay. Let's go take a look. Then I see something amethyst shaped. being real okay why did that suddenly send us down okay uh, oop, that's not look at the locals let's see let me take a peek okay there could just be more of the uh, bulbous trees in the tops probably is okay hmm it's normal end over this way or end barrens. There's something green there. Oak yeah. leaves. Yeah, I think you want to go to the barrens. That's where probably we will find the coarse fruit or something. Probably. And I think at the moment this spell is the easiest method we have for transportation around here. Wait, you tell me you can't summon a horse. Yeah, we could, but I, it'll be easier to transport between the floating islands and such, and that is what, uh, that is uh, what frightens me the most. We we got oil in here as well. Yeah, I see what you mean. Remember, you, I think you can ride those, 
not tame them, but ride them in some way. Do I think, uh, seeing the video, I feel like we are not gonna do that. Says I don't think you wanna throw a fish hook on it and fly through the nether that way without controlling it. Like, yes, you're riding it, but you don't have control of it. Hmm. Okay, I I'm very, very tempted to just start teleporting around here because this is making me really nervous about just falling. Lord, I, I don't blame you. Yes. This area, this is... I haven't played Minecraft, but I feel like this is one of the areas that will really wreck me just by making me nervous of falling down. Oh dear, oh dear. Hello. Okay, backpack Enderman. And why is the spell not working now? I'll look down, just in case. Uh, oh, it's the bounce, not the leap spell. There we go. Okay, yeah. This spell combined with the levitation from these things and, uh, well, the umbrella, that should make it a lot safer to move around. Did he just get ticked off from me looking at him? Another backpack enderman. Or an adventure enderman. What are those things? Oh! I forgot if you should be worried or not for those. No, uh, there is uh, one animal I think you definitely need to watch out for. Like, uh, you, you know how people draw a virus? Yeah. You know, you know, with the legs and a tube on top? There are yet version of those around here. Okay. There's wild carrots in the end. <laughs> okay. Hey, I did not expect carrots. Let's see. Yeah, there's a little, there's a little patch of normal wood down there. What? Mm. Okay, renew the levitation and quickly get across. Ooh. Yeah, it, it's not that I'm afraid of heights or anything like that. It, I'm afraid of falling. Yeah, same here. Yes. Hmm. And we have about 40 minutes left. Let's use most of those to explore around here and see what we can find. Yeah, and we have a thing we can plant on so we can teleport home if needed. Yeah, the way stone. So someone is careful. Put that in here. Nothing yet. We're just swimming through the air over around here. And let's poke another one of them. Okay, this music as it both yeah, this music at the moment is at the same time enchanting and haunting. There's something there. Ether? That rings a bell. Don't know why. Let's see if we can actually chop down one of these. Okay, the logging map, the logging thing doesn't work on these. Are you? Or... Are you seriously cutting down? A tree with a book. Yep. 
Let's see, crush, craft, mage life, mage block. Okay, we don't have the spell for cutting down things. And I think the endermen are going after the fish things. That is definitely he a different is bind. giving a tree paper cuts. <laughs> well, it's a magic book, so magic paper cuts. And what is this stuff? Bell, serial bellflower. Hmm. Oh, there's trees over there. And different kind of trees. Oh, no, this is the same kind. What are these? Ether logs. Okay. Ooh, really oh. nice. It was wood on the other ones, not logs. So, th and this only works on woods. Yeah, yeah logs. Hmm. Definitely curious as to what we can find around here. With some luck, we'll find an end village or whatever they're called, fortress or something. And maybe an elytra in there as well. Not that we need one to really fly. <laughs> I'm not sure you could really call this flying what we're doing. I'm feeling Nether would be easier to travel around if you had uh, your magic broom fueled by blood. Yeah, we should we should make that thing again. I completely forgotten about the blood mag or the blood or dark magic mod, whichever it was. Uh, it was occult. This is taking a bit. I think it is a bit of a big tree. Yeah, it, it, it does look very nice, though. Come on. There we go. You're not getting that back. There we go. And our inventory is full. All right. There is a slime island that way, so let's head over there. Maybe you should put down that waystone and uh, prepare a special backpack. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Can I plant these here? Yes, we can. Okay. Get high and get going. Now, anything else around here? There's probably going to be something special about purple slime. So we might want to collect some of that as well. For now, end and go dump some of our stuff. Okay. Keeping these. Actually, let's take the one that we have more of. Uh, yeah, I was, do you find any bulbous seed for making grow new trees? And uh, no. I would not be surprised if some of those fell through the abyss. Let's take this one. Empty it out of these things. There. Put those away, that away, and let's see, pickaxe, spellbook, enderbag won't do much since we aren't in the same dimension. This place will get unloaded. Uh, Bill? Hmm? Uh, yes. Someone replied to my joke on the general set on Discord. Oh, did I put it away again? It's from noon, I think you want to read it. Okay. Now put that thing on. Let's see. <laughs> it was a bad dragon. Which is a brand of... Uh, well, I'll say no more. People who know, know. People who don't, oh. don't. Oh, okay. Then the joke was deep. But, uh, deep and... You know what? I, I, I should probably... Be careful what I say. Yeah. Also... <laughs> you know, 
uh, I got mana boost two on the chat on the diamond chest plate enchantment, so that is why, in part, I'm guessing we have a lot more mana to work with. And again, this is a pretty cheap spell. Okay, Ender Slime Islands. We have Green Heart Log. Okay. Actually, you're yeah, just nudge you to death. Let's see. Ender Slime. Purple Trampoline. Diving Board. Cyan Trampoline. Is there anything specific that we can make with Ender Slime specifically? We can make rubber from it, but I'm guessing that we can make that from any of those. Uh, I should have grabbed an axe as well. Okay. Well... You can always pour some healing potions on your knuckles afterwards. Wait, oh, wait, are we not, We're destroying... Ooh. Okay, thank you. That was all we really needed of that. And we might as well grab some of this. Oh, okay, this just breaks into balls instead of staying as a block. Okay. See, I think there is a specific slime sling you can make with this. Let me see. Uh, packing tape. Uh, what? Trampoline I think I sticker. heard of that sling. Ain't that more from regular slimes? Uh, here we go. Ender sling slime. Pointed wall. Come out the other side. Okay. So, a, a warp sling. Okay. Wait, are you telling me this sling saves you through the warp? Yeah, through the wall, at the very least. And not uh, by crashing through it. Okay. Yeah, I, if we fall into the abyss, we won't lose our stuff, because it will still make a gravestone and such. But it's going to be an absolute pain in the ass to get back to it. Yeah. So for now, let's just keep on exploring. See if we can find anything of interest. Maybe some sort of end dungeon or something. There's another island that way. These two are some pretty trees. Yeah. They, they look like a mix of prehistoric like, uh, fern trees and willow trees. And by fern trees, I basically mean like they have these bark patterns that almost look like scales. Okay. The endermen were chasing down something there. It was a puff of smoke of something dying. Might be something hostile. One of them got hurt there, and something else again. And maybe if they're getting, maybe they're going after endermites or something. I've heard that uh, endermen will attack those on sight. Let's see. You can see they're going after something and then stopping after it's dead. Yeah, that was a mite sound. Okay. So they are going after ender mites. Oh, hello. You. Well, hello. I looked at your chin. Get lost. He might be sensitive about his shin. Let's see, some purple stained glass. And. Oh, well, hello! Popped chorus fruits. And the supply ship. Some gunpowder. A pearl, some paper. A helmet with thorns, I'll take that. Beetroot seeds. End rods, we'll take those. 
Oh, the metal image. A helmet wrapped in thorns. Mm, let's dig this thing out, Parcel. I think some of these can be used for stuff. But you definitely can build something with it. Could be used for some decorations. Okay, was why was there an explosion sound? Or was that just me? Are you that hungry? No. Also, hmm, should we grab the purple glass? Yeah, it'll break. And we put away the uh, <clears throat> the silk touch. Oh. Okay, okay, I see what you mean. Okay. It's a safer way to get across there. Hmm. What is with these end fish and end rays or manta rays or whatever? Oh, I forgot. I, I know I watched a video about them. Okay. I'm so glad you have so much mana. Oh, hello. We'll be taking this. Well, we got a second one. M2. Yeah, I'm, I'll probably go back and grab the other one at some point. Uh, then again, I'll have to leave one to, to be able to teleport back. <laughs> It can always good to, to have an extra round. Oh, hello, what have we here? Okay. Different trees. Imperious Philium. I think they're some sort of ghost rays because they're also going through physics, you know, through blocks. Let's see. Can we get close enough to you? Uh, but uh, they don't attack. Well, following that led us to another of these. Let's see, some more fruits, some more rope. Uh, reactive 2 has a chance to cast the inscribed spell on tool use or player hurt. So that's what reactive does. Uh, suspicious stew. Apparently I was a bit wrong about this. This can have random effects, not just negative ones. Uh, still going to leave it be for now. Let's yeah, see. it might be a bit like a gamble to eat that. We have another type of tree here. Fungal, imperious stem, and imperious stem. Okay, so this place is dealing with a fungal infection. Oh, come on! And what is this? Come on. Hmm. I don't know. I wonder how much we can, of these we can grab and bring you home to make. Say, we probably can make maybe to make some wonderful garden. Probably, but I likely don't have the <laughs> the aesthetic sense for it. Let's see. It's more that way. There's another bulbous forest that way. Hmm. What's these lights? We saw some earlier. Oh wait, are, these are the same elemental nodes from the uh, other that we can find in the overworld as well, I think. Never really got... We haven't touched that either much. There's just so many mods in this pack. Even beyond the ones that we've added. Yeah, on the mod 7 are over 300 mods. This has yeah. caused us problem in the past. Uranium... Zinc. You're sinking? No. <laughs> there's another wreck. Be careful, there's no land between here. 
Okay, I'm curious about what this gunk is, but we don't have a bucket. We'll probably find... There's, oh, there's an intact ship. This one's upside down. Let's see, bunch of books, some pearls, compass, and NCD map. Let's have a look at you. Okay. So there's an NCD over that way. And that's where you usually find a few other things, like the elytra. Yep. What's this? Fireworks star. Chorus fruit that hasn't been popped. But we've got a few of those already. Uh, beetroot and tomato seeds. I think we can use these to... Uh, yep, grow more. Okay. So we can start on our mo on our save mob grinder. And what is this here? And we can make a new farm. I think. They made Wait. they made an uh, they made another portal here. Would that even work? Well, a useless portal. And themed ruined portal. Okay, I, I guess that wouldn't work then. Let's see. Can always get some of this. I definitely should have grabbed the, the hammer or a better pickaxe. Yeah, oh, wow. as I said this. When we make uh, that special Tinker Forge here, we could use this as a decoration. Yeah. Also, who is cutting onions? Um, Shrek? Did we get it? We got it. Okay. And this and looks I like an end outpost. I just realized, wouldn't we need some of this ender soil to grow the chorus fruit on? Uh, let's see. Chorus fruits. Growing, yeah, end stone. So, yeah. There we go. Good handful. Now, on you. There's going to be shulkers here. The city at the end of the game. I hear you, you little shits. <laughs> Let's see. Healing, healing, instant health two on both. Uh, let's throw those out. There's actually, we can only hold one of these. Take up a whole spot each. Uh, here you are. And yeah, this is what shulkers do. You float. There you go. Yeah, but you can make them very useful into skulker chests. Yeah. Uh, let, let's throw out the rope. Oh, there's a lot in here. Maybe put down a portal stone in here and... Uh... Yeah, just dump. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I should have picked this one up. Oh well. Uh, for now, back to the tower. And we start dumping stuff again. Uh, we're keeping that so we can find the place. Uh, shulker box or shell. Let's see. We can make shulker boxes with those and with those. Uh, cleans. <laughs> Apparently we can make clean shulker boxes as well, or... Oh no, that's to remove the, the dye from it. Okay. Uh, I don't actually know what shulker boxes really do. I forgot, but people say they are, are damn useful. I'm guessing they function somewhat like a... <clears throat> like an ender chest, but in a better way or something. For now, well, I think any chest is a mod. The Skulker one is not like. Like, it may be the same inventory regardless when you open them. I diamond think. knife? 
Diamond knife with sharpness for looting three. Okay, well, we know what we're going to use for any grinding that we make do ourselves. Uh, let's see. Stasis. Allow slingshot projectiles to ignore gravity. Uh, totem of void on dying. Uh, put this totem in your main offhand to prevent dying if you fall into the void. Taking that. Micro missiles. Iron leggings. Plus iron. Slimy seeds. And some compressed stone. Here we have a diamond. Oh, looting. Sharpness 4, Looting 3, and Tombstone still bound. I don't know exactly what that specifically means. It says preserve the item on death. But you all, all your stuff already gets preserved on death into the... Uh, <clears throat> into the gravestone that's made. Compressed helmet, stone. Uh, unusing. Becomes unusable when having one durability left. So not to break it. A pretty useful little... <clears throat> a pretty useful... Little uh, enchantments, some wild and stuff, dragon scale, and helium flam flamingo. Oh, allows the wearer to swim in the air for a limited period of time. Okay. Oh. Uh, can we put that on? Let's. Uh, no, we already have something on. We have already have the cloud in a bottle in there. Yeah, we we can put on to see if it does change your look. Let's see. Uh, belt. <laughs> oh no! Wait, wait. Can, can you do the wool third person? But what hurt me there? Oh, uh, first you kill a dragon with what you call a sword, and now this. Okay. Let's I, put the cloud there for the moment. I feel like the dragon gun is weeping from the afterlife. <laughs> I got I think killed by more, this. Though. I think we can actually get... Uh, oh, there's another shulker somewhere. I think we can get another dragon to spawn with the egg. Actually... Um, there it is. Quick little stop back. Just to avoid anything else falling into the abyss. Uh, where is it? Yeah. And as I said, this, if or when we start a new map, we will use as much as what we learned here to move there. Yeah. First, we're grabbing this one as well. And then, there we go. The magnets. That looks like keep us the, anything from falling away. You, you think the blueprint thingy is able to follow with you to the medieval Minecraft? I know that it can because I copied over the uh, blueprints I made here onto there. Uh, nice. The difference yeah. might only difficulty might be that uh, things that are different between versions might not work as well. Uh, okay, yeah, then that could either work or be an issue. But it could be a useful thing to, uh, well, build a damn tower and all that. Hello, dragon head. Now, where is that shulker? Probably up here. <clears throat> where is it? I definitely heard it. Oh, well, was it the end one? Yeah. Uh. Okay, thank you for the floating. And over we go. And banners! What, can we take the banners? Yep. I think we already picked up a few of these. In chests. Well... What are those? Candles? I don't know exactly what they are, but I know we can make a broom out of them as well. Okay. Wait, what? I think we can use them for parts for a broom handle. And I think I'm going to have to... Okay, we are close to the end, but I'm going to BRB for a bit. 
uh, because, well, Mother Nature and all that. So, uh, all right. yeah, I'm going to pause the timer and BRB. All right. Stream Deck.
Okay, I'm back. Starting the timer again. We have 15 minutes left. Okay. I'm back. <clears throat> and I have sad news for you. Mm -hmm. Apparently, there is a YouTuber called Samurai Pizza Cat. Okay. These are not related to the anime at all. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. likely that they took their name from that. So... Maybe oh. for... I might have to look that video up later, but it... I don't know, no, no, they can't be super copyrighted in this case, but it is an extremely old anime. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's... Okay, let's see if we can find that end city, and then we'll call it. Apparently Oscar left at some point and is now coming back for his box. Uh, let's see, what can we actually make with these? Uh, mycelial generator, pearlescent end shelf, uh, elytra upgrade, hello, pneumatic, oh, we can add elytra through a pneumatic chest plate with that. We've never gotten into pneumatic craft really, another one to try out sometime. Uh, an iron rod, and jet boots upgrade tier 5, okay. So it's like the Metacraft is something that we really need to give us a shot sometime. Oh dear. For now. Hello. Let's put these again. You should go blab me. Now then, let's take a look. Okay, where is this place? We are... Oh, this is the place. Did you call this a city? <laughs> oh, come on! It's more like a hermit's house. Okay, we'll have to continue looking around then. Oh, hello, there's something over there. Let's see, is that... Oh, no, those are, I, those are bulbous trees. I would suggest you to pick that up in case you misread it. Uh, no, we were clear, very clearly visible on the map. So, yeah, that was the quote-unquote end city. Uh, okay, we have the waystone with us. Just making sure that I didn't forget it or anything. Okay. Uh, yeah, for now, I guess we'll have to keep uh, going then until we uh, find something new. And this is actually a really efficient way of getting around. An umbrella and just a, a spell book with leap. <laughs> Should have thought of that <laughs> ages ago. Yeah, just, with each of these yeah. roles that we do, the more in knowledge we get. Yeah, just... Be careful, you just keep an eye on the mana meter. Yeah. This might actually be my preferred method of getting around now. Hello. Okay, it's so another wreck. It was a bit hard to see what it was. I'm going after a mite again. Let's see. Ooh, another elytra. Some emeralds, lapis, another knife. Also sharpness four. Uh, yeah, the, these uh, arrows here. These we can enchant, or well, we can <clears throat> we can use these to augment spells used with an enchanter's bow, which is let's see here. Okay, it is made with manipulation essence, source gem block, and a gold block, and a bow. Okay. Yeah, I, think that, I think that's a good weapon, actually. This is a new disc, another void totem, source gem, transistor, 
Enchant scroll of aquatic life. Okay. Uh, I think something uh, you're trying to attack you. Yeah, no, they're just teleporting in near. I think, because otherwise they'd be screaming already. Depends on what attacked you, or tried to attack you. For I don't think it was an Enderman. It sounded like an Enderman. Eyes, pearls, feathers, another map. Mm, one of that. Okay. Uh, wait, I brought this along for this. So just put all of that in there. Uh, put these here. Okay. Feathers, a new map. Another scroll. Some more compasses and paper. Let's see. We are far away from this one. It is to our north and west. Okay. Oh, there's chorus fruit over there. Okay, are you ticked off with me or he's glancing to me? Are you ticked off at me? Oh. Pretty sure I didn't look at any of them. And again, there are so many of them. All right. Let's go take a look there. What did I pick up? Oh, one of them dropped the block or something. Okay. Yeah. Getting tired? Well, I have to sleep in one hour or so. Yeah. And I bet getting sleepy uh, earlier, but also I wake up a little bit earlier than usual for yeah. some reason. Okay, bunch of chorus fruits, ender lilies. All right, now, let's go find this so-called city, and then we'll call it. I'll put down the beacon. <clears throat> I'll put down the waystone over there. Uh, and again. Let's see. Okay, now to the east. Wait, is this... No, it, it isn't going to point us to the same one, because otherwise, if it was, the map should have already been filled in, partially at least. Yeah. We've gone... Oh, almost three kilometers since they put that thing down. Let's see. There we go. Where the, oh, we are on the edge of it now, I think. There. Wait. I. Th Where is this pointing to? Or. Are, hmm. Oh. It's quite far away, ain't it? Could be. Where is the last one that we put down? There? Okay, now we're past it and below it. I think it's over here somewhere. Let's see. Get some more levitation from the plants. Okay, further north. Wait. Actually, I should not go without any of the waystones. Yeah, uh, that too. Come on. Go. And what was the other thing then? Make sure you have enough mana. Yeah. 
For it looked like you were about to run the uh, traffic light over there with low mana. <laughs> and it, it does look like a quite a long trip. Is it really enough? What, 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 what? What is. What did, what just happened? Okay. Uh, the, it looked like the umbrella didn't work there, and the same for this, the plant. What? Okay. Yeah, uh, what oh. happened? And my respawn point is all the way over here, which is. Uh, where is this even? Oh, there's the, there's our place. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to cheat on this. Yeah, I, I give you permission to cheat for that's a that was about you being clumsy. That was actually game ba doing something weird. Yeah. Uh, and the, the how we read those no, not this one how we read those uh, maps is that we. There was that dot in the corner that uh, it represents where we are. And yeah, according to with that, we can read out where the area of the map itself is. So, okay. Wait, how do you get that back? Uh, the gravestone should have been created at the at the bottom there. Uh, we don't have any flight or anything. We have a little bit of floating, I think. Yeah, we have a bit of feather fall. So, let me see if I can float down towards it. This is how you get it? At the moment. Uh, the grave should be... Where is the grave? Where's the gravestone? Did, did it just not spawn? What the utter... Okay... Did we lose all of our stuff? There's supposed to be a gravestone. Uh, okay... Yeah, I think we might have lost all of that stuff then. Uh, actually, we kept this because it's soul bound. But that would mean that we lost our swords, uh, some very good items, uh, a waystone, which isn't that big of a loss. And where is that? Let me. Maybe I, I maybe we just didn't see it well because of the darkness. Uh, where is the other one? There you are. Uh, I meant this one over here. Let's teleport to you. Back to the tower because we have a spare night vision goggle. Uh, that should be somewhere around here. I'm pretty sure we had a spare. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Yeah, something went wrong there. And actually, we have the key that should point us in the right direction. Let's see. This should... Yeah, it, it has the little trail for us to follow. Let's see. Did it get put somewhere on solid ground or something? Let's see. Where's the trail? Where's the trail? 
I'm not seeing the trail. Are we too close or something? No, it's pointing this way. Do we need to build down? It's what pointing the? straight ahead as if it's on this level here. Let me jump to here. Wait. Where is this? Where is this going? Did it just get put somewhere completely different? Probably due to notice it was you sending you into the void. So it might be they had done something that put it somewhere you can reach it, but um, actually, why do? No. Did it get? Okay. I didn't. That is one way to definitely make sure you don't lose your stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, we've Whoa. also hit the end of the timer, so uh, I guess we might as well end it here. And you seriously give us an end credits. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that was definitely interesting at the very least. <laughs> well, I see the player you mean, Alien. Uh, yes, take care. It has reached a higher level now. It, it can read our thoughts. It doesn't matter. It, it thinks we are part of the game. But... Okay, is this from a mod or is this... No, no, th this is the real thing. Okay. I've never seen this myself. I like this player. It played well, it did not give up. It is reading our thoughts as though they are words on a screen. That is how it chooses to imagine many things when it is deep in the dream of a game. Words make a wonderful interface, very flexible, and less terrifying than staring at the reality behind the screen. Okay. This is <laughs> interesting at the very least. Huh. Let's see what MatPat thinks of all of this. Anyway, yes, so, several videos. Uh, yeah, but I don't think he has brought this up. Hmm. I'm sure. Well, it worked with a million others to sculpt a true world in the fold of... And created a... For, hmm? It cannot read that thought. Okay. Hmm. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> That'll be uh, all the mod 7 for now. We will still be continuing on with this one. There is still a good amount for us to learn about Ars Nouveau and such. Uh, I'll definitely make a lot of blueprints to recreate in new stuff, or at least, uh, <coughs> or at least, uh, at least it'll teach me things to more about it, and it'll make it easier later. But for now, I'm going to let this roll. But in the background, I'm going to open up the browser so we can look for people to raid. Oh, from uh, Howley, he has mentioned it apparently. And it's one of his earliest Minecraft vids. Okay, I must have forgotten or missed that one. <laughs> I think I've seen it, but I've forgotten it as well. All right. I think I've watched it when I was very tired. It was probably a very bad idea. Okay. Uh, let me change the screen share over to the browser so we can look for people to raid. So there we go. Switch. And, yeah, that is still going on, huh? Okay. Let's see. We have Lil Tree Live, who is streaming Valorant, which is that uh, Overwatch-like. And with how Overwatch 2 has <clears throat> been going with Blizzard, it might become the new Overwatch, from where I, I know. I've stepped away from that, all of that because, yeah, just bullshit. Uh, I'm Nice is uh, streaming The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We've raided them a few times recently. We have Torpid Typist, who is streaming Resident Evil 2. Shrimp OS is online again with Dark Souls 2. Azra Arcane is streaming Splatoon 3. Frain is back to Dark Tide. Viking Blonde is, let's see, just chatting at the moment, but the tech, the title suggests uh, Jackbox Gaming. 
Okay. I've played a few of those. A bit of a mixed bag, if you ask me, but I'm not much of a... <laughs> I'm just not a good in a lot of things that those mini games really ask of you. Then we have Black Shadow 993 with Resident Evil Outbreak file number two. Smoops Other Nonsense is streaming Mountain Blade 2, Bannerlord. Weird Romance is online with Far Cry. We rated them last, I believe. It's still going. <laughs> uh, Halloween 4545 is streaming Fatal Frame Mask the Lunar Eclipse. Okay. Any of those sound interesting to you? Good question. Uh, let's Maybe see. Halloween. Uh, Halloween, I mean. Okay, let's see. Place is muted. Yes, always best to make sure. All right. I've. Hmm. I don't remember which fatal frame this is. I thought there was work being done on a new one. <clears throat> But yeah, I have, let's see, I know of at least four Fatal Frames, but I don't know which, that, okay, hello, S streaming Fatal Frame slash Project Zero Four. Okay, so this is number four. Okay. Oh, gotten uh, their name. Maybe, maybe it is a bad idea to raid them since they had, were in a cutscene. Hmm. Right, it's up to you. Shall we go with Viking Blonde instead then? been a bit since we've done them. Yeah, let's go with Wagon Blonde. For... If it's weird to read it at a, in the middle of a cutscene. Okay. Especially when they play a horror game. Choice is yours, so slash raid paste in Viking Blonde instead. And... <laughs> what is all this existential crisis stuff over here? <laughs> How long is that going to go for? Can we skip it? Let's see. Yes, we can. <laughs> okay, sorry if someone thought that was a uh, highly uh, intellectual or something, but uh, yeah. Uh, one last thing. Uh, I did say that I want to copy that at one point, and I have visited it, uh, but the a creeper blew a hole in one of its sides, so it wouldn't be a good copy anymore. Oh. But yeah, we I will probably empty that out and claim it for myself. And yeah. As as long as it's been since last time, I do still enjoy playing this. I just need to well find goals to chase after and not get distracted. Let's see with these. Uh, I haven't improved I've improved the gem uh farming. I haven't improved the boar yet. I haven't well, we have a second level, but it's not very really good at the moment. I'll probably, I'll probably tear this one out. Maybe put it on the side of the uh, of the place, or maybe just be rid of it entirely since we have these now. Stairs not really needed now anymore either, unless I meant those stairs over here. Probably that. Um, then we have the mycelial source link. We have that. And I do still need to go get star bunkles and snow. I don't actually remember what I need snow for. But we'll find out eventually. We also have this here. Which, okay, I probably need to put down a source jar here as well. With how long some of these are taking. And why is, where is the source? Why is the horse armor here? <coughs> what? Okay. Hmm. But yeah, I could probably just... Automate this a bit with some hoppers, uh, some smart shoes underneath to pull out the good, uh, what we need. And yeah. And as we watch the Drigmies get to work, we'll move over. Actually, uh, let's stay here for this and just enjoy the view for a bit, even though I'll have to model it up with this. <laughs> and. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's move over here. And come on, there we go. Uh, yeah, I I think we can get a few more streams out of that world. I'll I'll see if I can get some more work done on my own on the side. And uh, yeah, for now, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later.
Thank you, Ghost Howl and Big Trucker, for showing up and chatting along a bit. I hope you enjoyed the show. And thank you, as always, Rick here. You're welcome, as always, my friend. And thank you, everyone, for joining. <laughs> We're now... Uh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, is, is Ghost Howl on the Discord already? Uh, no, no. They, okay. they, they, they have a Discord. Okay, yes, they, just... they, they are not on our special server. Yeah, if you're interested, there's a link there. For now, paste back in the raids. Let's start that up. And yeah, tomorrow I'm going back to work in the night shift. So yeah, before that, no streams at all. Uh, I should be back Monday evening-ish, unless something else comes up. Uh, let's see, it's the 9th now, uh, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th is the next doctor's, next dentist appointment. So, um, let's see. Uh, Friday 10th, uh, Saturday, uh, Sunday 12th. Yeah, that will be Tuesday. Okay, we should be able to get in a stream before then. But for now, uh, yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for creepers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>